talking back meant discipline. This is my recollection of a good spanking my mother gave me. I now consider it as one of the most educational things ever in my life. I was the oldest child in my family, one brother and one sister. My mother spanked me for anything and everything. Hardly a month went by without me having to have my bottom spanked. However, it appeared that my sister and brother never got spanked at all. This was even if they did or didn't do the same exact things that I got spanked for. I guess I was the trendsetter as both mother and father were the youngest children in their families and this was a learning experience for all of us. One spring day I was incredibly disobedient and constantly talking back to my mother. I was warned many times to behave but just didn't listen. After arguing with my mother for some time, she said, Eddie, what did I say about talking back to me? Go take a bath and get ready for bed, as I have had it with you. It was just after lunch, about 1pm. I went into the bathroom, filled the tub myself, got undressed, and jumped in. I wanted to show mum I was now old enough to take a bath by myself. She said, when you finish your bath, I'm going to spank you. She really emphasised the spank. I gave her a look and said, Mom, I'm too big to spank anymore. She replied, Get out, dry yourself off, get dressed and go to your room. Mom was waiting for me in my room. I walked by her and went to my dresser to get my PJs. No. Come here, she said. I walked over to her and because I was little, she picked me up and held me over her arm, over my bed with my feet dangling in the air. She then started smacking my bottom hard and fast. She spanked me so fast I couldn't count how many I got. The slaps from mom's hand sounded so strange against my backside. Despite the pain, I didn't cry a drop and neither I nor mom said anything. When she was done, she put me down and tucked me in bed, lying on my back. I had previously been made to sit in my chair, on a pillow, after a spanking, but this was the first time I got immediately put to bed. Mother told me not to move or turn over until she told me, or she would spank me again. So I obeyed her. After a little while, she came back into my room to check on me. She wanted to see if I had moved or rolled over, fortunately, I had not. Mom made me stay in my room all afternoon and through the evening, no supper for me. I heard my father come home much later on, and I'm sure she discussed my spanking with him. I stayed in bed until the next morning when mom told me it was now okay to get up. I went into the bathroom to pee and brush my teeth, then into the kitchen. Mom asked me what I wanted for breakfast. I chose cereal and sat at the kitchen table as if nothing at all had happened. Mother sat with me and started talking to me about the previous day. I only remember her saying, Bad boys get good spankings. One thing is for sure, though, I never talked back to my mother again, so I certainly learned the lesson that sore bottom was intended to give me.